All right, we got the uh, new steering servo here. I'm gonna make sure it aligns up with the horn on the car before we screw it down. If, now, if you can tell, straighten the wheels, and the horn is to the that side, driver's uh, driver side. So we're going to put that in that way, and we're gonna just simple as putting the four screws in to hold it down. I'll use an electric driver just to, in the interest of time, but you know I'm not gonna tighten them down all the way with the electric driver. I don't want to strip anything out because I'm going into plastic. One more. That's good. 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 There we go. I said I'll secure them a little better uh, with the hand driver. I just want to get them in quickly. Um, and this servo goes into channel two, which is actually right up here. This uh, receiver has the satellite points here. Uh, otherwise, I'd have to route it back to the receiver box. Um, so you want to do that. And then the next thing we're going to do uh, to align things is we're going to connect a battery. And then turn on our receiver. I'm sorry, our transmitter. I'm going to flip it over. And before we connect the servo horn, we want to make sure that this new servo is centered. And that's why we did that. I have the steering trim uh, zeroed out on the transmitter. And now I'm going to turn the truck on. And servo's moving. And then we're going to make sure the wheels are as straight as they possibly can be. Before we pop this, uh, let me tilt this up so you can see it. So there's the new servo, servo horn. Try to get the wheels as perfectly straight as you can so we can align it. Can be a little tricky. And we need to go over a little bit more. Interesting. So I may have to trim this out a little bit or adjust the turnbuckles because it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get it perfectly straight. Uh, well, that's not bad actually. That's not too bad. I don't know if you can see on the video it's relatively straight and now that we got that and I don't know why but the servo horn screw on this truck is a an Phillips head everything else is hex well, let's go ahead and put this uh, screw in the servo horn so that's a step you don't want to miss is turning the truck on to put the servo horn on because if you just put the servo horn on then turn the truck on you don't know what position the servo is going to be in and it can just spin all the way to one side and then strip out your servo horn so here we go we got steering and it looks relatively aligned i may have to trim a little bit of it out and um, let's go ahead and flip it over and uh you know what there's a little plastic plate that goes over and protects the servo horn i'll install that at another time um but yeah it looks like some fine adjustments on the trim here and we'll get it nice and even. Like I'd say that's about perfect right there. I mean literally I get uh, on the trim I move up to notch one and I think it's perfectly straight so I'm not even gonna mess with the turnbuckles. I don't know if you can tell in the video but yeah that's that's pretty good there. Alright if you have any questions or want to see more of this content comment below give me a subscribe.